Now I'm definitely in dangerous territory here. I'm playing a classical game. This is the third one today. And I say dangerous because this is where the Supremos would normally kick in. You know, you play on the side for too long, then they sniff you out. <laughs> uh, so I'm putting myself to the test. This is my ultimate test. Never mind looking at the ratings of the person. Um, I, I don't do that because it don't make a difference. You know, when you look at the full profile, sometimes you see the, like the twenty thousands or whatever, or they just don't play on the site all the time, or the other thing. <laughs> so we'll grab here. So I'm putting myself to the test now. Let's grab the knight. We have a spectator. It's not usual for me to have spectators. They probably know this person, maybe. Or maybe they've just played them. Oh, they've gone off. Maybe they've just played them and they've gone, right, I'm going to check them playing against somebody else. Because I can't believe the way they beat me. <laughs> Let's go here with the bishop. So it all looks fairly normal at the minute. Um, I would say obviously these pieces here uh, have not been developed yet. So I'm probably looking to Queenside Castle, aren't they? Maybe bringing the bishop here and then his castle in queen side. Okay, they're taking a long time, so I'll take a little break. Okay, they've made a move. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Shall I just play nice and steady? Yeah, so like we said, it's going queenside castle. So we'll castle kingside. Okay, they take a long time. Okay. Okay, they've made a move, which is the queen side castling. Like I said, this is going to be my, um, this is the big test. This is number three of the classical games. And they bring out the big guns. You know, they, they're really, really strong. It might be too early to say at this moment in time, but based on the speed at which they're moving, yeah, you can take your time, you know, in a long play game. That's what you should do. But the speed at which they're moving, you know, I think they're going to be really strong. What do we what do we have? Need to develop the knight out. Could do it nice and simple. Just develop the knight. Develop the bishop. It's not going to attack this because it's just going to drop there. Could push. I'm just going to bring the knight. It's probably looking at doing some sort of attack here. Attacking the bishop because the bishop can't take. So maybe just bring the queen off the line because he has the rook facing this position. <laughs> what did we say? Okay, so move the queen off. Okay, and just capture. So now they're moving fast. Okay. We're probably moving fast because maybe they're upset that we actually saw that particular maneuver. But they probably have more things up their sleeve now the knight is looking to develop probably needs to find a way of getting towards our king area somehow this bishop is a bit jammed in so he's probably going to do a fianchetto thing don't really want to have my bishop babysitting this pawn so I'm not in a good position really need to get this out somewhere Need to get these rooks facing here, maybe. So, yeah. Even though they've not developed their pieces, 
I'm not very comfortable with this type of position. So he's doubling up on the pawn, which makes us have to do something we don't want to do. But we wanted to bring a rook here anyway to support. Does he have other pieces that are going to come and start challenging? Not just yet, so we'll just go with that for now. Need to get this bishop out. I think it's probably better here. Maybe not because he's got double pawns and his bishop's just coming here, then we take and he... I'm not too bothered about that. But we need to get this bishop out. Could actually attack the rook, but then obviously simply just drops. But it blocks the knight from jumping to this position, which is a good thing. And we can always come back here, but then it opens up the pawn. Not too bothered about that. Okay, they're a deep thinker. I'm going to take a long break. Oh, he's off. So we could attack here. Now, does he want our queen to be out of the picture for some reason? I'm going to just bring it. It seems more natural. He might not exchange and he might just bring it back here. Because then he's got a diagonal towards our king. Or something. Right, I don't want to get caught into the trap of moving fast because he moved fast. So I'll take a pop. So he doesn't capture it at all. So he wants his queen to be sat here. And so in any event, if we did take and his queen is sat here, we have a momentary check. Does the queen come back? Or does the king just move to the side? Or we can just bring our queen up. But that wouldn't be too good. He takes and then doubles our pawns up. So we don't have to take, we can just leave him to take our knight if he's hungry for our knight. Could come here like we said, he drops the pawn down. And we sit quite comfortably here, he then pushes this pawn, bring this bishop here. This bishop can't come back to defend, oh man, he can, could come here. Taking queens in the centre of the board. What does that mean? What does it mean? Does it mean something? Take queen here. We've got the rook pawn on the... Here. The queen's not going to take. We'll put a check on the king. Can't take this pawn because the queen is there. Yeah. So for me, I bet you I'm overthinking this. But yeah, we can't take the pawn. Which would be a shame, because that's a waste of a move, isn't it? Queen check. And that's it, unless of course the queen comes back. But I don't think they will do, because... Yeah, or either the rook just defends. The queen's still defending that pawn. Yeah, it doesn't look meaty enough, does it? It goes there, goes there. Queen check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it might be a keep intention thing, you know. Because he's owning the file, isn't he, with his queen. I suppose we could come here come there but we're defending a pawn with all our pieces that's not the way to go that's not the way to go maybe a rook coming here defending the knight yeah, that's all weak it I'm just taking the bishop it doesn't look that meaty whatever he's planning I might even still just go with the check anyway, see what happens from there. Going with the check, what does he do? Can't take the pawn obviously, but there is this pawn, maybe we can work our way towards it. Gives them something to think about. 
I don't really see there being too many issues with this position. It looks more cramped for him than us. So he just moves because he's seen this. So we can do some more activity, can't we? Queen here. Again, he has to do something. Develops his knight blocking. Could bring the knight around here, attacking the queen, but then he's on the pawn. Yep. Um, we're not going to win this one. Just remember that, what I said right at the very beginning. This is the third one, and we're going to be playing something very strong. We still have the spectator on here. When I see spectators spectating my game, they're not spectating me. I think they're spectating the other player because I've not, I've not played this other guy. He's gone off again, the spectator, but he's been on for a while. Do, 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 do. Could double the pot, rooks up. I think the queen can do something else. Yeah. Touch the pawn, he just drops. Could annoyingly just come back and attack the pawn again. Okay, we'll go with that. It's an unprotected piece. He's got to develop the knight because he wants to link up his rooks. Could go here, just defend the pawn. To maybe come here. It's all small stuff. And again, I might be overthinking. I want to see if there's any stronger moves. So, yep, yeah, the knight is out, protecting the pawn at the same time. Nice development. I'm looking to try and see if I can trade off his queen, but there is no position for me at the moment. So like I said, we could always come now to attack the pawn again. But his queen is defending the pawn, so he's not going to care too much about that. There's no way of actually attacking his queen apart from this. His queen comes down and attacks the pawn. So I'm going to have to just bring my queen back, it looks like. Yeah, it's fair dues. Come back onto where? Maybe here, opposite his queen? No. Back down here. Yeah, let's just bring it here. So now he's got his knight activated, he's out into the system. We need to probably follow our plan because he's a little suffocation of opening, owning this file for now. So he is working his knight, protecting the pawn, so he's probably going to be thinking about doing this. But he wants to maintain pressure on this. I think he's really hunting this pawn, so his queen is going to have to move out of the way so that he can double these rooks up. So that's probably a few moves away, but it's still better than what we've got because we're not owning a file. <gasps> he's brought the rook up back. That might be something good for us. I'm not going to overthink that because I want to get my knight activated. That surely has got to be a plus for us. Spectators back again. Or maybe not. Let's go with the knight like we said, attacking the queen. Need to get it activated. He may just take the pawn still anyway. But I suppose our queen can take. Because we've got the pawn support in here. Yeah, really not expecting to win this one. Quirky rook move there. I mean, normally they'd go for supporting. Mm. And also, I've got his. Is it my go? No, it's his go. He needs to move his queen. <laughs> oh, he's got choices, like we said, of taking the pawn. And he's got his knight in front of our King Gary, but his other rook is stuck in the corner. So that's got to be a negative. 
going for a deep think. I'll give it a bit of a pause. There. The queen's gone back. Okay, magical positions. What's going on? Could attack it with the queen here. Let's attack it again. Keep pressurizing it. Is he looking to hide in the corner here? He's looking to squeeze our king, Gary. With his odd moves. Well, like I could say, that, that's a big issue, isn't it? That rook being in the corner like that. Knight's on the rim as well. But it can, they can make it work. So this is why this unusual type play needs to be on my game does capture I'm gonna capture capture so he has to support this pawn maybe the king's getting into the game I'm gonna be interested to see how this turns out because this rook was stuck in the corner here if they get advantage after this, I'd be very, I really genuinely would be very surprised. And now he's got these pawns, he's got a pawn majority on this side. Yeah, the king's come down. Yeah. You know, I almost feel like resigning the game because I know I'm actually not going to win it. It's fallen right into those those one of those games where I know definitely what is the point in actually playing. Spectator keeps flicking on and off. Hmm. They know something I don't know. Just pushing here. Just maybe just to sort of make sure, you know, if the knight has to work, then maybe he has to go back out to come back in. I think he's got enough time to get his rooks all sorted in a position now, which is a shame. So we have poor majority on this side here. He's got poor majority there. And I'm not owning a file with my rooks. I think it's about a matter of trying to find where there's no open files to work with. Well, this half open files we've got. I suppose in a way we've got position ready to own these. So what's the position? Knight, knight, that would be nice. Obviously, you know, getting a fork here. But that probably isn't going to happen, but I think if if this pawn move isn't made, which it probably will be. If that pawn move's made, I suppose we can come here with our rook looking to double here it's easily defended because he can just bring his rook there but it again gives them something to think about so that pawn move hasn't been done but that pawn move has so I'm going to bring the knight here it's a bit obvious but sometimes you can catch them and especially this is the third classical game which I definitely know we <laughs> we're gonna have to pull out something special to win it um, I'm looking forward to trying to win it. Uh, look, he's seen that already. So, where do we go from there? Could go here, but then it's night takes. So that's no good. So, there's no real. Keep it there for now. Let's just bring this rook here, owning the other half open file. If the push, maybe get some activity with the knight, then the push down. Just bring the knight back. Whoops. Bring the knight back. We jump into this space. It's a bit of a dancing knight situation. So it's not meaty enough at all. This is too um You have to play it precise here. This person's going spectator's still there. They they know something. They know something. 
Yeah. Okay. Could bring the rook here just to support. He just keeps it right deep down. Uh, knight's doing enough. I don't think he's going to take, is he? is he? If he takes, knight takes. But he just wants to disrupt my pawn structure. Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to um, come here. They're making something out of nothing. They had nothing, and now they've got something. In fact, this is my pawn majority area, so they're looking to dishevel my pawn. Yeah. Now I've got an isolated pawn in the centre. Let's just bring this rook pawn in. I'm just trying to go on the basics. <laughs> At least we've got two pawns. It blocked off this pawn with this pawn, but now it's going to attack our king. I don't think I want to be coming here because then he's just going to double his rooks up on this file. He's saving it. Hmm, if we come there. No, 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 no. If we go there, then his knight just comes here, doesn't it? With a check gets this pawn. So if we go ooh, if we go here looking to see if we can get the rook going. I think that's better than nothing I think. Let's go here. Although I think there's this issue I think there's issues isn't there because he pushes here then I have to move my knight. And his rook's on. Yeah, look, he's doing everything that I'm saying, which is really weird. Yeah, so I'm going to end up losing the pawn because his rook's going to own the file. I can't move this rook now to come there. I won't get to, if I get to do that, but then I come across, like we said, his knight can do that movement. And the pawn can't take. Hmm, dear me. Yeah, so if I went and attacked now, he takes the pawn. She, yay, what did I say? I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't have actually taken the third game. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken the third game. If I push this pawn here, like this, or maybe not, if I just bring the knight here, then it blocks off this area, doesn't it? So that we're not playing this um, exchange and my thing. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, my brain's gone into fed up mode now. <laughs> uh, you know when you maybe you've had too many sweets, you know that the that last handful you shouldn't have had. But you've had it anyway, and now your tummy's going, well, I told you so. This is this game here. I know the rules. I know what happens. Yeah, Play more than two classical games, in my own experience. Um, you're in trouble. You're playing like the... I don't know what you're playing. You're playing some kind of super strong system. Spectator's still there. It's the same one. This person knows something. I believe they played a game against this player and they're just checking to see how they play against me. I believe they've had a query. This has come down, he's going to be doubling potentially. Or oh, is he planning to come here? Initially it's going to be doubling, isn't it? So...
initially it's doubling, now it comes here if he chases him, oh that's a, that's a big no no isn't it let's just bring the knight here, I was going to look at doubling and protecting but that looks just too much to um, I've seen it happen go for it, go for it, it's a bit obvious but you know if I've seen it, it must be obvious we're praying that he goes here but then have I looked far enough ahead if he goes there and I do do that is it, oh he's gone back he's gone back we can push I don't know what mean, what that means though, we can push I suppose this rope's going to come down for us we still have this lovely outpost thing here don't we if we push his knight can then get into the game a bit more can it rook up to attack his rook is that too simple ok if we go up then he just comes down and attacks our knight we do have the safe haven here but are we creating a problem for ourselves no nope. ok I'm going to push up with the rook Spectator still here. Mm -hmm. They must have got seriously hurt. I'm gonna have to. Oh, it does. It does come down. Yeah, we did say we're just coming straight here and just checking, make sure that it is the right thing. Yep. Okay. Let's come back down so our knight can't take go here. So he's definitely not looking to double here because obviously the pawn will take all the. So he must be looking for his rook to squeeze here. There's some magic that he's doing, isn't there? I mean, his knight can come here. We can't take with the. Oh, we could because the knight's protecting our rook. It's getting a bit intense now. I was planning to come here, wasn't I? Why has he brought his rook down here? Who takes? It's not going to take. He must be planning a squeeze. If I bring this here. I could bring my knight and attack his rook, but then he goes there anyway, so. I'm going to bring my rook here first. I think he's wanted. I don't understand why he's going here. But if I do move my knight, then I suppose his rook can go here. But then we do have our rook here. So I'm hoping he's claustrophobizing himself. got a poor majority here which probably is going to cru it's going to kill us isn't it it's making all my pieces come over here and then he starts ramping these pawns down <laughs> wow long term spectator this man unless of course yeah look the king's coming down looking to cause us some hassle let's attack the rook twice, one and one here I've gone quiet because beating a supremo I mean People will be just looking at the rating and they're probably saying, ah, you know, you're not playing against a super type player. 
well we'll see so he does capture so we could capture his but then his rook takes the pawns on this side so we'll just take this one this knight is looking to get activated somehow but it's just not in the game at the minute which is good for me we're still on his rook so maybe he forgets and we take the rook we've seen it happen we're willing it to happen it's still even anyway there's no but there's no pluses here even on the pawns one two three four five one two three four five it's all about looking at the position now I favour his position better with these pawns because they're all linked up and everything I'm so scared to move this pawn because his knight's just getting in the game and plus he does have this blocker blocking this pawn so what do we realistically do here hmm. pass pawns want to be pushed that is the theory. I've, I've got to stick with it. Past pawns need to be pushed. He's got this advantage here with these pawns on this side. I'm subliminally looking, trying to block off in my head. You know, if he potentially can do anything. If I was him, I'd be mobilizing these, you know, trying to get these down as best possible because that's what's causing me heartache here and plus he's got this blocking the pawn he's got the knight blocking the pawn so really he's looking at getting these pawns down and I think I'm, I'm going to kind of struggle a little bit with my king and stuff trying to get these up when I say these it's only one actually this this is blocked by this pawn it's gone for the check now I was, was looking to just bring come up here but then I'm just thinking I'm blocking my own rook I don't really want to get enticed by any of this sort of stuff but it does look quite nice, you know, pushing the king up here, attacking, attacking, attacking. It does look appealing. I come across. Maybe it's not too appealing because his rook just comes down. Well, mind you, we go up. His knight doesn't have a check on me, but his knight can come here and attack the pawn uh, I'm gonna try and make it a fighting king see if it can rover up around the back because like I said these my pieces here the kind oh he's got brought the knight in we said we could bring the knight in hmm he moved there fast as well do you know why because he's coming for the rook And if I move my rook up to meet that off, does he have a fork on my king? Then he can come here attacking this pawn. Oh, Jamali. Then we push, he takes, then we take. Then does he have? Oh, let's go here. But our pawn has gone. In fact, he's not attacking our rook just yet. But we can't go there just yet because he's got his knight on there. Could pin the knight to the um, not before I move, because what he'll do is just go like this. Boom with his pawn. That's going to hurt. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah Spectator's still there. <laughs> okay. Okay, past pawns won't be pushed. Let's ignore this for now. We we'll push. We know he's coming down for the rook. We we'll move the rook up. from this position his rook can come down here because the knight is defending or it could come here Doo -doo -doo. Shall we just do that first? Go there. Then we know at least he's going here. Okay, let's just go there. <coughs> it's definitely the last game for me today. Uh, does he even bother doing that? He may just bring the pawn down. It's better for us, I suppose. But he's still guarding this area and he's got double protection. Yee, 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 yee. Yeah, he's gone, like we said. Attacking the pawn. Is there anything else? We could go here to defend, but then. Whoosh! Or we could defend it this way. And then whoosh! But he's one move away. And I'm moved away from these this poor majority as well. So whoosh here. He's gonna want to get rid of the pawn. So if he pushes down, so he's one away as usual. Push onto the knight. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. There's nothing behind the pawn. So it looks like there's gonna be a massive rook exchange kicking off. And my king is on the other side of the board and his king is closer to the pawn. Let's break this down. Could start it now. Takes, takes. Knight moves to attack it. Pawn pushes onto the knight. Knight moves to attack it. Pawn pushes up. Knight moves to attack it. Rook becomes behind. His rook comes in front. And then the pawn's gone. <laughs> then we have this pawn here. Well, we don't have that pawn. Yeah. Um, okay, we don't win. Well, what's happened here? Somebody put something in the chat, and that don't look like English to me. Yes, I know you've won. Whatever it says. They're probably saying hurry up now because you know they've. Ah. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? It's not in English that I can't read it. So we're not plus anything. And that looks enticing. And then he takes. Then we take. We're on the night. Then, da, 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 da. like we said, he's just, I think he's going to attack it. I'm going to go for it. Right. We're not too upset. Just wanted to try and beat the Supremo, though. Damn. So we're on the night, so we can see the picture now. He's actually moved away from it. 
Right, okay, so now that's different. It's actually stopping us from actually coming here though, isn't it? So if I attack his knight now, to see if he wants to exchange or not, because he's, he doesn't want our rook being behind the pawn. So he might just let his knight get taken, then his king go to take the pawn. Or maybe I can, no, I'll still be able to get behind the pawn. I'll lose it anyway, so I don't know what I'm going on about, because his rook will come, his king's closer than our king. So that's what I was talking about when I was doing the earlier calculation. Because his king can just sit there, his rook comes, and then the rooks are off the board. My king's on the other side of the board, and he has a, he has a pawn majority on this side. So it doesn't really work. So that's why I've kind of resigned myself to the fact. That's why he, he put that on there. Yeah, he knew that himself. Well, not himself, whatever there. <clears throat> do, do, do. do have a check but it's not going to be any good because we won't get the pawn up I don't think he's going to take I think he'll leave it there like I said because he wants his king to get closer so we could push the pawn but then his king goes to the side And he knows he's got the poor majority, so he's getting them further down the board. My king is on the other side. It's not too clever. Take. King takes. Rook here. King blocks. And it's game over. Because these pawns are just going ramping down. <sighs> what can my knight do? Ooh, hold on a minute. Bring the knight here. It's not going to work, is it? These these are too too deadly. King is on the all the other way of the other side of the board. Oh, I'm doing it anyway. Might as well try and fight it out. Back to the spectators, not on now. They know the deal. Should translate to English that whatever they've put in there, shouldn't it? Looks like just the alphabet. So if we went and attacked, then his knight takes, obviously take with the pawn so the pawn is further away from the king but it's still the same situation his king is closer so it's a lot faster I'm, I'm thinking of stuff but I can't really see anything so we all know these pawns are it's getting promoted doesn't have to take the knight, he can do other things, but because um, the pawn isn't getting promoted, that's the annoying thing, my pawn cannot promote, because it's just going to get blocked. He does take, 
So am I fast enough to get my king to the other side? And protect the pawn? He's going to just focus on these here. This is a damn shame. Get my king blocking him so he can't actually get to protect the pawn. So he's going to have to swing his rook around the side. Yes. So I can put a check on his king. It's not much of a thing. I think oh, I don't know if that's a good thing, you know. Swing into the back. I think the idea I'm trying to think of is bringing it here to get to here but that don't look like it's going to work because he can just go so if I go there then he can just go there with his rook and then he's going to be hitting my king if I don't take but if I take his king takes then I can push my pawn but then I lose the pawn because he can move across hmm well if he comes there then I take his king takes pawn is blocking it at the moment his king takes I can't get in can I no that would be a waste if I went here and then he went like that but then I says no thank you very much I want to promote my pawn but then I'm blocking my own pawn so if I go here with a check on his king I could always just go backwards and forwards but then if I take here and he takes there then I can push the pawn I don't think that's going to happen but we'll try don't think that'll happen that way because these are just going to be pushed down <coughs> how annoying yeah they're just going to be pushed so I could attempt to still try this then couldn't I like we said and just but the king's just going to come here it's the best option I haven't got anything else I don't think no I haven't, there's no point saying I don't think I haven't got any other options and it's not saying that it's going to go anywhere because if his king comes here and I drop no he's gone there anyway, I drop his rook takes pawn takes, the king takes the pawn King takes the pawn, we can come across and it blocks his king from coming to this pawn. We can come and attack this pawn. No, wait a minute, don't lose don't lose the thread. So one rook takes pawn takes king takes king comes across. Pawn drops, king drops, pawn drops. Now this is where it probably may go wrong, because if I take, he doesn't have to take, he can push here. <laughs> Could always swing and attack this pawn. Could always do that, couldn't I? Because his king's jammed there. I think that's probably the better option, isn't it? Rather than going for the exchange. Looks a bit dicey, that. Probably, maybe 
it's just that you'll have an extra pawn on this side here. Although in a way, because this pawn is still here. Oh no, it's not. If we'd have gone there, then that pawn's gone. So I'm actually coming round the back, and there is options of doing that as well if he doesn't move his king out of the way or the rook. Doesn't mean it's winning though, because we are playing a superpower. so mentally draining oh dear me I think I'll just play one classical game a day I was doing that for a period of time actually well, just playing one classical playing one blitz and playing one bullet oh Jamali I think he's one anti damn I can't go for that if I go for this here this is like playing and then he just goes up and if I thought of taking his rook his king just takes the and then he's got the pawn majority on there so that's no good to me I'm gonna have to take the pawn I'm gonna have to take the pawn Attack this pawn here. It's coming down for me, but I've got to get rid of this pawn. So the pawn majority is gone now. So this is a matter of it could be a draw, but I've got three three passes. If I push that up, his king will just come and take the pawn. Come on, do it right, do it right. Put a check on or push the pawn. If I push this pawn, if his rook's coming to actually come and take it, we could push this, but then his king comes behind and I can't help it. So there needs to be something done first, doesn't there? I should really be behind our pawn. But do I have enough time? Oh my Gideon. Check. Just go with the check first while I'm thinking. I think if we can get him up off of that, and then we, we could probably. Mind you, just check my king, won't he? come round here and attack this pawn with a check on his king really want to get to this position here but he's not going to allow me he's just going to bring his king back so I'm actually going to bring the rook here looking for a check on the king this way and supporting potentially the pawn push up defending with his rook again we can't go here because oh we can we can because we got the king over there didn't we so then if he decides to come here we just go behind the pawn got to be careful because he's come push this and then his rook's going to be behind it So we could come here now. Could come here. Look, looking obviously to support the pawn pushing up. Or we could just push the pawn first. He brings his king up. Across. We bring the rook across. Oh, and they've resigned. <laughs> yes, brilliant. 
Oh my days, that was a long game. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed that. Well, I didn't enjoy it because um, when you're playing the superpowers, you don't expect to be winning. Um, right, that's great stuff. Last game for me.